Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Peter Igaga, and as promised, we're here to deliver. Now, tonight, as always, we are taking a big step. We're talking about stuff that nobody wants to talk about and nobody wants to hear, but we're ready to talk about it. A lot of people say it's women who make a man's world go around, and keyword is women, not woman, okay? So it can be either positive or negative, depending on the way you take it. So we're here with a different set, with a bit of a different twist, and I will first of all introduce the lady to my left. Hmm. But I can't introduce her, so she has to introduce herself. <laughs> so Why wouldn't you introduce me? Because if I do, then people will form an opinion about you. And as Chris can tell you... <laughs> Won't be a good one. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's give it a shot, then I'll also give it a shot. All right, cool. We've got Flavia here with us. Um, Flavia is not new to men. Sh uh, Stop. Uh, me. Stop. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stop. Not Stop. right there. I told you. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Flavia Tumusime, NTV News anchor, and very, very mysterious a man. Yeah, I, I meant not new to men. It's sure. okay. It's okay. So you see, see yeah, that she's also not new to men. Exactly. Oh. I'm also not new to men. Okay. Stop. All right. Cool. Good to have you here, Flavia, and also <laughs> on, on the here. show. Chris is an old dog. In a good way, not in a bad way, but <laughs> been there, done that. introductions, I'm worried. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's I'm Peter Bach with his border border <laughs> speeches. <laughs> so. And then we have Winnie. Yes. Who's not a visitor to Well, don't show. say I've gained yeah. some weight. Well, <laughs> that's okay. You, you, you've not gained Well, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. All trim and, 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 and all that. Well, we talked oh, about yeah. this. Yes. Let him introduce me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go on. So, Probably yeah, without we, the weight. Yes. Mm. So we've got Winnie looking all trim and all with no weight. Yes. I mean, which is a good thing. <laughs> but Winnie is uh, not a stranger to the show. And I will start with you. Today we're going to talk about money. Money is a very sore subject especially in relationships. Yes. Um, research shows that a lot of relationships actually break, not because of infidelity, mm. but because of money. Now, we're going, tonight we're going to talk about finding your equilibrium in your relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, should there be a balance where money is concerned between a man and a woman? Or should it be, I mean, uh, a set? Um, uh, set rules or set rules. Or should they share? That's what you're asking. Yes, or should they share? Uh, um, first of all, I, I don't want to be stereotypical about this. I think that every relationship is different. You'll find relationships where I come from deep in my village. It's unheard of for women to be pitching in, even if they do something or here and the other. Uh, it's unheard of so for women to be putting guys, food on the table. The guys do everything. Traditionally, culturally, mm -hmm. uh, where we've been from in the past, men have been known to provide. Yeah. Women have been known to do the household chores and be homemakers. Yeah. But now the world is changing. Women are working. I mean, women are making money. So maybe, yes, the conversation should come up. And when it does, I think that every relationship is different. In your relationship, you could say, well, if you're the sort of man that uh, is very egotistical and wouldn't want a woman to pitch in, aren't they all? No, well, mm. oh, well, so, you know, I have found that <laughs> I have found that these so days men are very clever <laughs> and they found that women make money and lots of money, and they've decided to put their ego down, down. a bit and let the women spend some money. So, well, it, it's really up to you, but I really think that it would be nice if a man stays a man. If you, uh, if you keep saying, oh, well, the woman is going to make some money and she's going to uh, pay all the bills or she's going to pay three quarters or half, if you put on the shoes, if you wear the shoes and provide, it's going to give this woman more time to be a homemaker. I'm not saying that women should not pitch in, but it should not just come to the point, it will not, should not always come to the point where the woman is doing 45% and you're doing 20% just because she can. Okay. Um, you know, this is a very um, delicate area that you're stepping in. And I'll tell you why. Um, as you mentioned, relationships are different. Mm -hmm. People's challenges in life are different. What if I'm in a situation where my woman is stronger than me? She's earning more money than me. Mm. Should I, should I still, bear, I mean, carry the brunt and the biggest part of, of, of no. just food for thought? Chris. 
And the question came out. The clock is coming to help. What is the question? Yo, yo, I want to ask back. I want you to think about that because you've told us clearly um, a man should be a man, and a woman and, uh, should. Uh, yes, be a and a woman should be. A, a, a I did say relationships are different. Yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. but uh, ideally, yeah, you expect a, a guy to take control. And I, I, I said that I would like that, but yeah. uh, relationships are different. Circumstances are different. Yeah. So it's not always the case. But like you said, I'm thinking food for thought. <laughs> cool. Food for thought. Yes. Uh, so I, I don't know whether to weigh in on that food for thought <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or the main point. So I let you guys have your thing going there. Um, economic equilibrium in, in um, <coughs> relationships. I think that I, I sort of would like to agree with Winnie some bit. Um, especially when we're thinking about looking at it as every relationship being different. Um, there's of course relationships where the man makes more money, where others where the woman makes more money, others where both have no money. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, True. you know, and they get by somehow. <laughs> Winnie's like, yeah, why? absolutely, yeah. But it's life. I mean, yeah, it's that's life. why it's there's life. words like poverty and things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, but I, I think that we need to look at the, the, the core, the, the basic core functions of, of men and, and women mm -hmm. yeah. in a relationship. Um, there's this guy, an author I really like, he's called Willard Harvey, and, and he, he, he did a research that showed that most women, world over, most women, um, would prefer to have a guy who can be able to provide enough to meet the basic needs of her home. She could be making much more than he does, mm -hmm. but they just want you to be able to cover bread, milk, sugar, rent, you know, like what you earn can be. If she didn't have to work, mm -hmm. the family wouldn't sink. Mm -hmm. And so that the big concern for most women is not that she's earning more than you. Yeah. It's that are you able to earn enough for the family to work? And I think that that's a major, major point um, that we need to start with as men, especially. If I may just interject and just to get a bit of direction here. So here's the situation where I am. My wife earns more money than me. Yeah. I'm also earning some, some decent money. I'm able to pay our rent, I'm able to, to provide food on the table. So um, what I can afford is a place in Mukono. Okay. My wife is an MD of a bank somewhere. She can comfortably afford a place in Muyanga. Should we stay in Mukono? Because I have to pay them because I can't afford the place in Muyenga. It's yeah, just so, 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 yeah. so precisely my point. While you could, I mean, by all means, use the bank park and stay in Muyenga. I mean, yeah, really, why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah. No brainer. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a no brainer. <laughs> but 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 it's important for her to know that w if you know if push came to shove mm -hmm. and the world threw you in Mukono, yeah. you can pay the Mukono house. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Mm. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Flavia, your I take. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think, as Winnie said, relationships are different. But there's, money is a sensitive subject when the relationship is not a marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When it's just a relationship. Oh, yeah. I, I, th I feel like men and women spend or discuss money differently. Mm -hmm. But when it's a marriage, it's also a, a different discussion. I've seen women who are married who tell you that if my child, the school says school fees has not come through and my husband is dilly-dallying on the subject, yeah. I will not wait. Mm -hmm. Now I feel like that's what happens when women have money, more money or less money, just any money. Mm. They, they, we naturally, you know, we nurture, we like to put somewhere. Mm. And when it comes to money, whatever mm. our money can do, mm. it will do. Sometimes it can do what a man is supposed to do and yeah. when a man sees that he gets comfortable right that's the when problem. you agree and very so he'll go so. like oh you, oh you 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 the whole time you, you were able so. to to actually that's buy groceries problem. fantastic so it will it. make I, him lazy I, yes is, is I, are you okay. saying that's uh <laughs> that's a blanket that position I, I, yes. no could we say we actually we are, men, we are not supposed to get could we say yeah. could we we're say that some men get comfortable uh, and not necessarily generalize it because I know some men would be very uncomfortable. Exactly, yeah. Very uncomfortable. Here, here's what it is. I think you, you are uncomfortable that she's gone ahead and done that. 
but it's sort of like as you said ego says to oh, oh okay so you, you feel you can do this great go ahead and take care of that then um, and uh, so it, no, it, it keeps on but, going but like also that. on the flip side um i'll give you a simple example you've talked about the children's school fees couldn't there also be and not that i'm pointing fingers mm. but could it also be that this guy is in a position where he can't talk to his woman and tell her look you know what i'm hard up there's money i was expecting it hasn't come through he's just busy trying to get it done because possibly if he does tell her that, it will become an issue of, oh, you see, now I have to do this. I have to do that. You're getting comfortable. Yes. Okay. Because generally yes. men slack when they know a woman can provide. <coughs> Some men. She is right. Some Chris. men. Thank you. <laughs> and you see, the problem, Some is, men. the problem is, if you tell me the first time, well, I've got a problem, but I'm going to sort this out. So you sort this out the first time. We're not saying be, uh, you just go into the relationship and, well, you never understand when your man tells you he's mm. broke. Yeah. We are in a relationship. If you're broke, I can't pitch in. But if you have an explanation the first time, the second time, the third time, and you keep seeing me providing, you're Actually, going to sit back. What, uh, what, uh, 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 what if I didn't just, have money? Just, just hold on. Chris, I would like to take it from a Christian angle. Love doesn't keep scores, does uh, it? <laughs> no, of course it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> but, also, <laughs> but also, Peter, I, I, think, yes. I think that because that, that, no, you're keeping that, score, that, you see, yeah, yeah, the of first, the second, the third time. Come on, you can't. you're and creating a habit here. Yes. And, and, That's and, a problem. And, so, so uh, what I think is a problem is, is a much bigger problem mm -hmm. than, than whether you're keeping scores or someone is creating a habit or not, is, is, is the fact that I think we approach money wrong mm -hmm. just for us to be talking about equilibrium in a relationship, economic equilibrium, means that we're saying is his money and her money. Exactly. Oh, so it's our money. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, so basic, <laughs> basic big problem. Mm -hmm. All right? Because, because when, it, when it's his money, her money, my children, when they're bright, your oh, children, children, when they're yeah, daft, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what that does is that it, it takes you off playing on the same team and you're playing on different teams. Now, different couples handle money differently. Um, you could have money in different accounts and you control it differently. But I think it's helpful in any relationship. If, if you're serious about it and you want it to go far, mm -hmm. it's helpful for you to see money as belonging to the public good. Like no. it's for the the unit <laughs> i know it sounds crazy it, it, yes until you <laughs> really want to have a relationship that works yeah well it's okay it's our <laughs> money it's, it's always our money if i have less uh, uh, no, no, no 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 it's not, I mind. Mind. It's not um, that not I, when I'll i have no what, I really I, seriously I, I, consider I dare, it i dare say that clearly from what we can see here when it comes to money money is a very painful subject for women yes because they 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 seem to that you mentioned women are collectors yes okay and there's a even quote there's somebody who said it was told that um that, that women save more than men and he said that is true because they don't spend their money and they <laughs> save the money <laughs> that <laughs> men give them okay <laughs> all right oh, so of That's course you're gonna save <laughs> and then she's the same one who comes and tells you you never save any money how am i supposed where to save your money, money? But, but do you know, do you know there's a scenario where you will know because your woman earns more money your dreams and ambitions towards money change you have bigger dreams on her money but, but would seriously. you yes don't, don't, don't you see fault don't you see fault in that thinking how no the, the, no, no not for, not for, in for, what you're saying but in no. the thinking about uh, and, and also his money and her money not only that what is wrong with having bigger dreams so on this her is money? what i'm saying okay what? we need no, to go into a break what? right now <laughs> and uh, as i mentioned today we're talking about a very sensitive topic of money <laughs> is her money will we find an equilibrium what? we'll be right back after the break <laughs> Now, just before we went into the break, the ladies were going on and on about his <laughs> you were having money. ambitions um, on a woman's money. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm, 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 you know, okay. Oh man. We to put this in into a bit <laughs> of a perspective. Right yeah. this, this won't end well for us here. <laughs> no. No, but just to give it a bit of perspective. Now, guys, um, we have been talking about money, especially in um, in more of a marriage setting. Yes. Now, before everybody gets married in a relationship, mm -hmm. right? Now, especially for the before you get there, I, th I believe, and I stand to be corrected, one of the challenges a lot of people meet when they get into a relationship mm -hmm. is they never discuss about money. The relationship mm -hmm. is all fuzzy and nice yeah. and all that. Mm -hmm. When you're dating, mm -hmm. money, nobody talks about money. The lady sees this guy, he comes to pick her up in a car. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
He's, he's dressed no, well. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he has money. That's, That's the true. assumption. Mm -hmm. This guy meets this girl in, in fancy places and all that. She's dressed well. Oh, she has money. Mm -hmm. She maybe he, he, he hears she works somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, she has money. He has never had a chance to really talk to her and find out, is that all on loan? Okay. Is the, has she found out if the guy's car is borrowed? Has she found out about anything? So it's only now people, when the rosy times are over and reality kicks in, now people start asking hard questions. Mm -hmm. Chris, do you think that when people are dating, they need to start talking about money then? And you should put your cards on your table and say, look, here's the deal. I have four pairs of trousers. Okay, that is it. And let her make up her mind there and then and i'm 200 m in debt yes Ooh. yeah <laughs> yes yeah, 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 and you make up your mind I, I i really think that um anyone in a relationship needs to really have a tough conversation about money and not once it has to be a continual conversation yeah. uh because money is a tool that we use on a daily um uh, you want to check that your tools work <laughs> and they're firing on all cylinders. Yeah. So, so the money conversation actually needs to be part of our day-to-day -day life mm -hmm. in any relationship. Um, now, now mo in most relationships, uh, especially ladies, you know, treat it as man. You can't be asking that guy about his money. You're going to look needy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so, so you start by putting your best foot forward most of the time, at least from what I observe. And so, so the guy is able to scat around the money conversation and dance around it for long enough. Mm -hmm. And then it gets to a point that it feels odd mm -hmm. for you to bring up the conversation. It's like, yeah. chick, what do you want? Yeah. Don't we eat the chips and chaps, <laughs> go to wherever we go? <laughs> Aren't you happy? Aren't you happy? Yeah. So yeah. what more do you want? Yeah. I told you, you know, this relationship will go somewhere and you're eating and drinking. Don't I pick you? It Don't I drop you? Way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's on its way. You know? Yeah. Um, and, and, then, and then you're not able... To, to really bite into this conversation. Because I'll tell you something. How a guy spends his money mm -hmm. says a lot about his character. Mm. Yeah, true. Right? Um, if, 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 if you get to know that a guy gets this amount of money and half of it goes to his mom... <laughs> um, There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, <laughs> I love my mom. But <laughs> half of it goes to his mom. You are in trouble because <laughs> <laughs> you say this yeah. Yeah. because because um, you, you're going to come in and you know like okay you you get ten percent uh, if you're lucky mm. and and then when you start asking questions it it's a thing of look so you want me to choose between you and my mom mm. Mm -hmm. that's a conversation mm. um, if you get to find out that your guy and said ten million shillings a month and by day three, the money is all gone. And then, you know, he I mean, he takes you to some good place the first two days after the salary comes in. And then on the third day, he's asking you to cover the bill. Sure. Uh, you it's, need to check. Did you hear your reaction? <laughs> yeah, like, Women ooh, don't like paying bills. Exactly. I know, but, but, no, 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 oh, but okay. what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying is that there is something in there. He's either got a big debt he's managing yeah. or... Um, uh, he's gambling, for example, mm -hmm. sports betting. Because money. he asked you to pay the bill? No, no. Where did the money go? Day three, the 10 million. Day three, 10 million money. gone. So, so what I'm saying, and, and I'm, I'm talking about guys, but I mean, same goes for ladies. Mm -hmm. like, like, there's a guy who asked his, his chicks, like, where does your money go? Yeah. I can do everything. Ah, yeah, I, I do everything. Be a long where does your money, you know, money You just go think you do everything. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like but you real. see, but then do you see so, that? So, so money actually says something. Yeah. No, we, Say, do, we do have money that Money says who people really are. It's, it's, it's the only, it's the one tool that is fail-proof in saying who someone really is. True. Because let me tell you, women actually have a conversation in their minds. When you, you, you bury me here. Because listen, a woman doesn't need to ask you mm. say how, how much do you she will never sit down and mm. have that. maybe one two three out of ten will have that direct conversation with you I'll tell you how they'll do it they'll look at you they'll know where you work so they'll get your position and what everyone else in that position in other you know th then they'll get to your house is it your house are you renting the car is it they'll look at all these 
factors mm -hmm. in your life and they'll know. So you infer so my salary. Wait, wait, all you will be... You, that's yes, how women do it. With accuracy? No, of course not. And then, and is and that, then, is that where, is is that where comes trouble in starts? After yes. they've done exactly. that, then yes. they then start asking for money. Mm -hmm. And they'll ask for odd sums, normal sums. Then they'll just keep gauging where and you then, are. And right? then the sum that you're comfortable with. Yes, and then they'll yeah. know, ah. okay, don't ask for 10 million, okay. ask for You'll 3 million. Never give me. But my, my question, my question <laughs> yes. is, um, what about the reverse? Because you see, clearly, we're, we're talking about women asking men for money. All right. Men are not supposed to. I told you. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> His money is no. ours. <laughs> My money is mine. My yeah. money. That's a trick <laughs> motto and it doesn't <laughs> work. We are talking about equilibrium yeah. here. All right. <laughs> and I said in the beginning, we don't need. <laughs> um, um, and then, do you know, that you've heard this, this famous saying that Kampala girls. Ah. Uh, Okay, all they want oh, no. is... My dear, this is world girls. Okay, world girls, all right, all right, all right, all right yeah. All, all they want is what? Is money. No. Because you see the things you said, you mentioned something very interesting, Winnie. You say that um, there are things, your money goes somewhere. Okay. Yes. But don't you think it's important for this guy to see where, where that money, money is going? Well, I'll tell you, Peter. Now, things have changed. 30 years ago, if I look at my mother or my grandmother, the way they approached money. Men would never discuss money with women True. because women were wives and sort of possessions. I mean, what I put on the table is what you, is what you will use and that will be it. Yeah. Fast forward and it made to... them made them very good planners. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, well, if you have to make do with 500, Working. you have to make do with 500. <laughs> yes. That's it. So fast forward 30 years later, a number of years later, and we're here now. And women are working. They are not sitting at home waiting for you to put something on the table. And I think the onus is on men as well. You need to stop looking at these women as possessions and wives and start looking at them as partners and stakeholders yes. so that you'll be comfortable to discuss development with them. You'll be comfortable discussing economics with them. Because if you, you talked about a woman asking a man, how much do you earn? Will you ever tell her really how much the you The truth. Are? It's because if you're not going to tell me how much you are, and that's why they are going to be guessing and doing things like that. Mm -hmm. But if you looked at me as a partner, if you say, okay, look, Winnie does something, I don't know. Most of the men, you'll be surprised. They don't even know. Their wives work somewhere. They have no idea how much <laughs> their wives earn. They just know their wives earn a little bit of money or something, and no, that's no, no, it. No, Winnie, Winnie, you are wrong. In 2017, they know. Yeah, they men know. know what yeah, their yeah. women are. But they don't, don't disclose the, no, the truth. No, they'll no, disclose um, less. You, what, they they do no, but <laughs> look, look, Chris, you've got to that. know. But the and question you know is, exactly how are you going to know if she earns? doesn't tell you? Huh? She can't tell you exactly hey, hey, how hey, much hey. she earns. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Look around you. Oh, which you have good female friends. No, 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 no. Listen, no, you really do. Can I? No, no. Seriously, can I tell you something? You know why you need to know how much money she earns? But you can't know for certain. Where do you think the comfortable guys come from? Do, do you remember, do you remember that where you started at yes, the beginning? Yes. The guy the, knows how much slacking. you earn, he gets like. Mm. So how does he get like? Because he knows how much you earn. So here's the thing. The thing is, it's not about who, you know, who's, who's privy to the information on how much is earned. Because you can tell. You can tell what your, you know, the partner, estimate, spouse, yes. and you can tell what their income bracket is like, mm. okay? Um, and, and because of that, then it's important that you decide, am I going to manipulate this person or are we going to be a team? Are we going to be partners in development, like you said? That sounds very development-like. But anyway, <laughs> no, no, but, but, it's yeah, a good yeah. thing. You're meant, yeah. to, you're meant to grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're no, no, but I'm, I'm saying, I'm yeah. saying um, that, that you then need to decide. And I think that that's why when I said earlier, it, it's important to come to a place where where the money is ours for a certain vision and direction we are taking. Because seriously, uh, if we're to bring up terrible stories on money in this city mm -hmm. and, and in this country, there are plenty. There are plenty yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, no kidding anyone. There's bad stories on money. But the question is, how then should we then, how, sh how should we move forward on money? Yeah. What ought we to do? What are the lessons to learn? Um, I've seen some couples that have been married 50 years, 45 years and all that. I like to ask them, how do they get by? How do they, how have they survived? And Peter, you are right. Money is the number one destroyer of marriages yeah. and all. But you find that for most of these people who've been married a long time, money is not an issue. It's, it's a, 
it's a, a, a it's an end. our yeah. money thing yeah. um i know someone who i i really admire who would earn all his money and basically give it to his wife wow. and there's stories of the other way around yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, where exactly. the woman will give all of it yeah. Yeah. and 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 it's because they've worked out that because in any relationship there's someone who's very good at Spending. Using the money, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not going to say spend because, <laughs> beca because, because of course you have to spend it. Yeah. But but there's some people who are really gifted at stretching the shilling mm -hmm. yeah. to make it cover lots of ground. Mm -hmm. And it's not it's not necessarily true that they are women or men. It mm -hmm. it, it can be, be either way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And there are others who are very good at earning it, but are terrible at keeping it. So when you're in a partnership, it's good to know, okay, look, this is where we want to go. These are some of the things we want to do. Mm -hmm. So you give, you know, the person who earns, who's good, who's good at bringing it in, you bring in as much as you can. But let, by all woman. means, let the person who's good at spending it, at using it for your benefit, take the lead. I also think that as a man, it is a great idea to be good at bringing in the money. <laughs> no, no, no. The, oh, I'm just saying, it's not a, <laughs> just a good idea. <laughs> Winnie, true, but, but can I say something? Mm -hmm. there, are, there are couples, and I, I see more and more couples, where some, the lady is so good at, at making money. And the um, man is good no, at... No, at you know, no, 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 no. Keeping it's it's not, yeah. it's not, it's not, using it. It's not that he's, <laughs> using he's terrible it. at making money. It's just that he doesn't make as much, much as, as a woman. Does. Because because mm -hmm. I'll tell you, when you look at people who are into business, for example, mm -hmm. um, uh, you find a girl who comes from a business background. They've been doing business for the last three generations. Yes. She just knows how to make money. Mm -hmm. And this guy is a son of a professor whose grandfather is a professor and the great grandfather is a professor. Professors most of the time are broke. Mm -hmm. they, they study a lot but don't, but have, money. don't have money. Okay, so, so the business lady is She's definitely going money. to make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. But the point is that the professor should be able to make a respectable amount that can be able to cover the bills at home. No, that because really I'll, I'll tell you what, Chris, clearly there's something that's bothering Winnie here. And yeah. it's, it's about um, men the man not, being able to, the, the man the being able to, to, to make money. Um, you've talked about a partnership. Mm -hmm. First of all, again, know your partner before you get into bed. In, 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 for lack of a better term, get into bed <laughs> with him. But, um, so if you, you're already in bed with him, all yes. right? Now, don't start throwing stones at him saying, oh, you, you can't make money, you can't, yeah. because that is what you subscribe to. Shouldn't the discussion be, mm -hmm. okay, this is what I subscribe to. How do I raise him? Okay, if he's not good at making money, how do I raise him uh, uh, so he can, he can make money? Rather than bashing him and reminding him, he knows very well he's not making money. You don't have to tell him. Mm -hmm. So by bashing him and telling him he's not making money, that's not going to make him start making money. I, I need to make something clear. I'm not against, you know, there, there are women that are very enterprising. He mentioned it, a woman is enterprising and circumstances are, are different. Uh, our fortunes in life are different. Even if we get married and maybe you're making more money than me, something could happen, you'd lose your job and then I'm promoted somewhere or oh, I'm making more money than you. So these things happen. In any relationship, if we are in a relationship, um, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm hoping the relationship is based on love and trust. We understand each other. If something like this does happen, I need to make clear that I'm not saying that we should not support our men because they're broke. For, for me as a woman, what I think is most important to me is effort. I need to use that word, effort. I don't want, we've talked about this with Flavia, that you see women, a woman goes out there, she's out there, she's breaking her back, she's making lots of money, and she's creating another child back at home that is watching but movies. But he's your um, watching movies and going to, gym, gym. Uh, going to the gym. Going yeah, to the gym. to look good for to, you. To, 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 to have yeah. a six pack. When, yeah, when yes. he has a one pack, you're the same one who starts to see, There's <laughs> nothing as unattractive as a broke six pack. Stop Ooh. that. So, <laughs> what I'm saying oh, is. Man. Ouch. <laughs> you sh effort is important. Things could happen. You don't have money. I understand it. Mm. You've lost your job. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm leaving you because you've lost your job. But I need to see, as a man, ego is important. I need to see that you, the effort is there. You're trying. You're trying. We're trying to do this going back to our stakeholder argument we're partners mm -hmm. i'm trying to do this i'm trying to do the other maybe we co-invest maybe we do the other i need to see some sort of effort and for a man that works hard my point is when a man works hard he is going to make money let me also say that you know it, i think this whole question around money is let's let's define roles because i think that's what we're really saying let's define roles as a woman in the relationship i'll have 
my place. Um, it's not the, the kitchen. <laughs> it could be the kitchen. No, no, no. It no, could no, be. No, 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 no. No, 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 no please. So, no. Uh, we do need to go into a break. No. We do need to go into a break. Okay, However, it could be the kitchen. I'm just saying. A woman is not Bless supposed not to be in the kitchen. Hey, the man is supposed to be in the kitchen. <laughs> men. <laughs> we have to go into a break right now. And food for thought as you go into the hey, break. Hey, this man. Flavia here <laughs> says women are supposed to not be in the kitchen. No. Don't forget, no. you can follow us on Twitter. Our hashtag <laughs> is NTVmen. We want to hear from you. Go to our Facebook page, like it, and tell us what is going on. Not we'll just be right the back kitchen. After the break. <laughs> Welcome back from the break. In case you've just joined us, we're here on your favorite show, Men, and we are talking about finding an equilibrium in your relationship, especially where money is concerned. Now, just before we went no, into no, the no, break, no. now... If, if it's to put up my hand, you just were talking to make sure about my point comes roles. Up. You were talking about roles. <laughs> yes. Now, every... And you, and every no. That women should be in the Let me finish, yeah. because Peter is causing a problem here. I see it from a distance. Your role here is to create <laughs> trouble. You do not no. say such yes. about young, yes. beautiful single you women. cannot no, do I'm reading their chances. Things for our people out there. <laughs> <laughs> you really, please, let me say it. We need to define roles. If the role of a man in, in your relationship, because we say they're different, mm -hmm. if in your relationship de you've decided, honey, you will sleep, you will relax, you go to the gym, you will look good, I will make money for us. Hey, to each their own. If in your relationship you've said, no, 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 listen, whether I, I work and make how many millions of dollars, your job as a man is to make A, B, C, D work. Mm -hmm. Me, I will cook for us. I will make sure your clothes are ironed. And once in a while, I'll take you for dinner. Date night. Once in every three months. If that's my defined role in the relationship, again, to each their own. So I think True. roles, if roles are defined. True. Okay, Peter, but if you hear something. Yes, just ah. a, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, something. Yes, I, and that's what I want to do. That's what I want to pick just up. Who defines, who really defines the roles? Because from what I'm, re I'm picking here. You're two people in a relationship. The, but clearly, the roles are being defined by, by the society? Woman. No. You see, society was not also wrong when it defined some of these roles. Okay. That the kitchen and the office. Go um, on. No, no, no. However, <laughs> you see, we, we also need to be cognizant of the fact mm. that a lot has changed. Okay? Yes. Um, as you mentioned. Back in the day, like a, a lot of our mothers, um, even we talked about the thing about education. Mm -hmm. A lot of our mothers yes. would uh, would study, would not, would try their best not to study more than their husbands. Yes. Because if you are more educated than your husband, there's a problem already. Yes, uh, yes. already that yes. that was there. So and it, it 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 was normal and it was okay. A lot of women would not even take up jobs and opportunities which would earn more um, than. Their husbands, uh, yeah. than but I speak from, what do you call it, from, I grew up in a home where my dad was the one who was working and my mom was doing business. And actually, it was, it was something we knew. The business that my mother was doing is what actually took us to school, okay? And it worked perfectly, perfectly okay? Um, however, I also hear you. We have a crop of men who are not ready to work, okay? They are, they are comfortable, right? And, um, and I say, this does not even start in marriage. It starts when you start dating. Yes. Okay? We've got this group of men who know that the woman has got this, okay? And she'll take care of it. However, you create your own man. If you've got, for lack of a better term, a lazy bum at home, he's mm -hmm. your lazy bum. And you define his role <laughs> as to be... You Schiller, define that like role. Yes, you define the role. And you say, say, you say, say as you are. When you define roles together, then it's a different ballgame. Chris has been talking about this thing of our money. Mm. Um, I, I don't see why a man cannot tell his wife or even his girlfriend, if you're serious with her, mm -hmm. how much money you earn. Because like you said, I mean, the ladies have put it very clearly. If you don't tell your woman how much, and this is for the guys yeah, out we're, there. We're good at if you don't tell your woman how much she earns, <laughs> she's going to figure it out. Yes. And, and usually and the yes. assumptions are wrong. Yeah, no. and, 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 yes. and, and the assumption We're is close. much higher much than higher, you exactly, yes. <laughs> yes, like, okay. You're presenting yeah. yourself in a certain way that is so above. Stop, stop, stop <laughs> spending <laughs> more than you earn. <laughs> you <laughs> then you want to have a certain money, yeah. I am going to think yes. about money. I, I, I just, if, if we just stop and listen back to what Winnie and Flavia have been saying, put in some effort. If a man works hard, this is, the, it's, it's basically still playing into what Will and Harvey said. Yeah. What the woman wants is for a guy to be able to earn enough to cover the basics in the yes. home. Mm -hmm. Once the basics are covered, 
His role. Like that his role, role is played. Yes. So, so, so if, if, if he had more money, good. Um, if I have more money than he has, fine. But at least he's able to cover the basics. So, so I think, I think what, what we need to do as guys is, man, wake up and, and, and get the basics covered first. Yeah. And, then, and then build on to that. And I think if, if, that, if, if that happens, there is, that's the true equilibrium. Because you see, when you're dealing with men and women, we, we look at different things. Ideally, as a guy, we, we, want to, we want to make the kind of money that gets our buddies talking about us. Yeah. But dude, chief, you know, you're ahead of me. <laughs> you know, when a fellow man drops his ego and he says that about you, you know, pump yourself in the chest, you're like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> uh, so so that's, that's ideally where we're going as guys, yeah. all right? Uh, but we also need to consider the women we have in our lives. What they want is to cover the basics. Let's, let's be able to have Junior go to nursery school. Uh, Food there's the milk, table. there's sugar. Yeah. You know, rent the is lights. paid. The lights, yeah. yaka, yaka wax. <laughs> you know, but imagine no I, I come so, out so, so, so I, I, I think, I think, as a guy, as a guy, just, <laughs> just speaking to guys, like, like for real, what, what these chicks want? You fail is, at a water bill, yes. and you still want to you know, cover ju just, something. Yeah, yeah. Ju just, just cover, <laughs> cover the basics. <laughs> So that you can fumitate in that. This is what she's saying. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's simple you can't terms. Say yaka uh, and you're asking her, Oliwa, uh, you know, it's getting late. You know, that yeah. is the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean. Wait, right? It is late. Yeah. It is it's late. late I am here making the money that is going to feed you. And you see the problem yeah, with no, you guys. No, but the guy has see, needs. No, the guy has needs, yes. Yeah. But if I'm out there, listen, if I'm out there and I'm but making you money no, but and you are lifting weights the whole day. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, I am making money. Then I'm going to come home. I am going to come home. And then when I get home, because you've been lifting weights the whole day you are hungry <laughs> you are going to tell me you want to eat but okay and Peter, you, by you, the way that, that's if he's just hungry you could be hungry for other things <laughs> yes and no. you're too tired for what okay. you see no okay you know, you um, I, I know we're going to have to have another session I'm especially not, I think the needs will but come in episode another now, another day yes <laughs> But now, guys, uh, we've reached that point, actually, where we do need to wrap up. So I, I'm going to need a parting shot from, from all of you. And I'll start with the ladies. I'll start with you, Winnie. Your parting shot, what you, especially where the issue of equilibrium is concerned. What are your thoughts? Uh, in conclusion, I'd like to say, and I don't say this to be mean or crass, I'm just saying, if you are a guy and you're out there and you have very little ambition, you don't see your life going anywhere, you just out there well basically you don't that's have cool. a lot of plans <laughs> cool. you need to stay away from that's women cool. that are out there having plans it, it will never work because a woman is not going women don't respect men that are just like you said lazy bums a woman and if you're a guy and you're out there even if you are broke you want to go somewhere you're putting in effort you're doing things and you're doing the other and you see flavia please do go approach flavia flavia is going to see the effort in you approach Flavia, both as a woman you want to be with, as a partner, and as a stakeholder, you are going to go places. It's just the equilibrium thing. When you do that, you're going to be able to find some sort of equilibrium, even if you don't talk about it. But when you come into someone's life pretending to be something you're not, spending money that you do not have, and creating expectations that should not be there, that is the problem. In life, we must always... Where do they say? Find your level. <laughs> yes. In Uganda, they say. Uganda, in Uganda. <laughs> please. And again, and to men, please, I will keep saying this. It is not a bad thing to have money. Work hard. Work tirelessly hard. I see lots of men in this town. They're still broke, yes, but they want to go somewhere. And I know they're going to make it because... They are sleep. They are not sleeping. They want to make money. So you be one of those men. Work hard, and then you won't ever have to have this equilibrium conversation. Okay. <laughs> Love you. My you are. Yes. Is still what I've said. Define the roles very mm. early on. Don't wait till the point where you feel you're serious. Define it very early on. There's some things I, as a woman, will not do in this relationship. You will do. Once that is clear, you will find that balance. Mm -hmm. Right. Great stuff. <laughs> Chris, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> man, <laughs> guys, we've, we've been fried on this one, but 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 really honestly, I, I think that that we need to be able to cover the basics. As a guy, just just cover the basics, you know. By the way, Chris, yeah, that's yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, just this cover one. the basics: milk, sugar, rent, you know, and then once that's done, 
there, there will be equilibrium between you and your woman. That's true. Yes. And, then, and then after that, you know, go build the skyscrapers. That's true. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you've heard it. Um, a lot has been said here tonight. But on my side, mine is just very simple. Work hard and be honest. Speak to your women. Women, speak to your men. Money is a very sensitive thing at the end of the day. If, and especially for the guys, if you have money, fine, tell her you have it. If you don't, don't be shy to tell her also that you don't. She might say things that you may not like, but at least you're managing her expectations. expectations. Yeah. So with that, we have to wrap up the show. It has been a great night. Thank you, everybody, for that. I think Chris can now breathe in and breathe out. <laughs> <laughs> so, we had a great time. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And you can follow all of us individually on Twitter. Our Twitter <laughs> handles are right there on your screen. Have a great night, and we will see you next week. Take care of yourselves, and God bless.